Hi. Hope you're all well. <clears throat> so, last year, obviously, I was 47. Yeah, 47. And this, no, I was 48. <laughs> yeah, I'm 48. So, I was 48 November last year. And obviously this year I'm 49 and obviously as you get older us ladies we go through the menopause don't we but my mum went through her menopause when she was 46 uh, obviously I'm 48 and I've had to I've had a couple of blood tests because I thought I was perimenopausal, premenopausal, whatever you want to call it, last year. But I, I never heard anything back regarding this blood test, and I never even asked. So I should have asked, but then the doctor should have told me anyway. It's been August, September 12. It's been 13 months since I haven't had a period. I know that should, people don't like talking about that, but, and that's one of the symptoms after 12 months, apparently you are. But I've had to bite the bullet today and I've made an appointment to the doctor on Friday to go over my symptoms. So I'm getting quite a few symptoms now. Up flushes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like I'm in a cooker oven sometimes. And lately, <laughs> I feel like I'm on the fight the world lately. Uh, but I've always been like that anyway, a bit, well, a bit like that, because that's why I was brought up. Don't take no shit and look after yourself and your family. And I do. Anyway, I'm going to go and see him on Friday and see what is going on. So, that's that. <laughs> but yeah, I've been all right, honestly. I've been right, moody cow. I have been right, moody cow. Past few weeks, and that ain't that ain't like me. As you know, I think I would look a kind of person, but I, I just don't take no shit. Do you know what I mean, ladies? I ain't no fool. So I'll see what he says on Friday. Oh, I've got some in my eyeball. I've got some in my eyeball. I'm gone. Oh. <laughs> no. As you know, I suffer with arthritis. Okay, I've got it everywhere. Everywhere you can possibly get it, I've got it. And I've got my sarcoidosis hair in my lung condition. And recently, obviously, my pain's getting a bit, you know, I'm feeling it a bit more. Um, I'm still keeping mobile because that's what I was advised to do anyway, which I do because I walk, I walk, oh, look at all that lipstick. Yeah, it's so embarrassing. Anyway, I walk the school though, I walk back four times. And I don't sit down when I'm in the house, I'm pottering about. So I ain't lazy. But it's like when I go on the chair, and I get up, it's like, oh, 
So the doctors put it down to uh, my arthritis and chronic pain. So he's put me on pregabalin. I've been taking pregabalin as an, on top of my calcaldamol. But recently, the side effects of the pregabalin has got too much. Try me all time, headache, dizziness, loss of, um, you know, loss of um, memory. So I've stopped them. And I'm just back to my normal calcaldamol. And oh, sorry for morning, ladies. I am sorry for morning, but that's what's going on at the moment. My, my pain, I'm controlled, but so uh, I'm sitting on the floor on here, like, on 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 here, ladies, because I got rid of my computer table, day I. No one I've done in this room. I've got rid of my computer table, but I regret it now. So I'm sitting on the floor at the moment and it's not good. And um our Evan, I, well I don't know if I've gone into detail about Evan, but um when we went to the hospital, they told me they knew that he had cataract in both eyes. But I don't know how he diagnosed cataract anyway, because he barely, he barely even looked in the poor kid's eyes, because Evan is severely photophobic. And I don't know if you know what that means, but it means he's severely um, vulnerable. Oh. Basically, he can't tolerate light. So we had glasses made that go dark when it was outside. But the the hospital at Birmingham said them glasses are not good. The the glasses that is for his vision are not good, but when they turned off, reaction lenses, when they turned off, he can still wear them, which he does. Because he needs them because of the dark light. And he's got a lot of other problems now with his eyes, which have surfaced. So he's on the waiting list. He's got to have two operations. He's on the waiting list. I've just had the report off Birmingham. Um, and then what they're gonna do? They're gonna um, they're gonna uh, they're gonna put plastic plugs in his eyes. I don't know how. I don't know how long for. And then they're gonna start him on. <coughs> Amniotic fluid treatment. I know. I went like that when I, when I, the doctor said I went amniotic fluid. And I don't want the doctor to think I sounded thick when I asked the question. But I had to ask. I said amniotic fluid as in, you know, babe, uh, when the baby's, I mean, anyway, yeah. And I went. But that will be, oh, I've got to inject that in his eyes. I don't know where. I think he said something here. And I think that's what the plugs are for, to keep it in. Because his poor eyes, ladies, oh, they're so dry. And and they're they're all all his all his eyes damaged from the dryness and um what's the, you know the vessels in your eyes all them are no good as well so they're gonna laser some of that the the they're gonna laser some of the vessels out and uh this, they're, well they're hoping fingers crossed that with the amniotic uh, fluid treatment. Some, some, he'll have some healthy vessels um, come. But if not, I don't know. But with the amniotic fluid treatment, they're only going to do it in one eye to start with. His worst size is right eye, so they're going to start his right eye first. 
give you uh, three to six months. We'll go back. See how, he, see how he's got on. And if it's working, they'll do it in both. So hopefully that will work for him because, ladies, honestly, it me, me heart breaks for him with his side and his, the light. It's the light more than anything. And um, I mean, our Liam's got the same condition, but our Liam's eyes weren't so bad as what Evans are even though he's had photophobia. Well, he's still got photophobia, Liam has. But Evan's photophobia is very severe. But honestly, ladies, you don't let it get him down. I'll get down more than he does. But, um, you know, he's an happy, happy chap. He just gets on with things. Bless him. But yeah, that's all he's gonna have done. He's on the waiting list, so I don't know how long that's gonna take. But with the amniotic fluid treatment, that you obviously can't get on prescription. So that's gonna have to get delivered to me house. But I don't know how I'm gonna, or how I'm gonna inject his eyes. But it's something that I've got to do to benefit him in the long run, ladies. But I'll do it. Won't be nice, but I'll do it. He's on lubricants at the moment now. He loves oh, his lubricant. He has um, he has one which he, he has to have for bed, but that's that ain't like a drop. It's like um, it's like a paste. It's like I don't know if you know wallpaper paste. But that one only goes in for before bed. It's like a really thick paste. But the other drops is on. You can take them all day, every day, if you want some. And then obviously, we, I've got some, school's got some, his dad's got some. And then, but the, the night one, yeah, you can only have that for before bed. Because it, it, it hurts him at first, but... Um, when he's lying down, like he, he calms him down a bit, like with his vision. And yeah, that's what he's got to go through. So this was before when was no uh, September, July. We found that out. And I was absolutely devastated because I thought we was going to that appointment to get him booked in to have his cataracts sorted out. But it turns out he's got a lot of other things to have done in first and he ain't even got cataract. And the glasses that the first hospital gave him are absolutely not helping him no good whatsoever. The only good thing about them glasses is that they go dark when he leaves the house. So yeah, he's got a, he's got a lot of things to go through. Yeah. But he said that he, his eyes are shot, as in all all scratches and teared and off the dryness. So yeah. But we'll get we'll get him through it. Or well I'll get him through it. Do you know what I mean? I've got some in my eyeball. Still me I do. Oh absolutely fantastic. We're out outside again today, ladies. I've just put my washer on. I'm gonna go and peg it out now before I go to the school. And um hopefully it will will Keep this weather for a bit, but I don't think we're gonna. But uh, I still I showed me trees, ladies, because oh, don't, don't, don't. 
I'm changing them again. <laughs> I'm changing. Well, I'm changing two. I'm happy with the three. No, I ain't actually. I'm happy with the two, but I'm changing two. Or I might end up changing all four yet. I don't know. But I'm going to get that done hopefully the weekend. And then I'll show you my trees. Well, I, I can't say I'm happy with them. I am happy with my main end. But I, I just... It's my own fault. Watching flipping Christmas crafts on Facebook. And, you know, you get it into your brain, you think, oh, I might try that. Do you know what I mean? And then it might end up a, fat, a big fat fail. Mm -hmm. I think I told you about what they're having for Christmas, are they? Both boys are having a laptop. Kira don't know what she wants yet. And obviously, I've got another three birthdays left this month, September. Yeah, I've got my daughters, Leah, Friday, and my grandson, Colby's Friday, 20th. And then Millie's the 27th. My other granddaughter's birthday's today, little Thea. Yeah, I've got another three birthdays this month. And then I'm going to start um, Christmas shopping. I'm quite late this year. But when I do, I'm going to start doing, doing some wrapping lives. Well, all I've got to do now, I've got to move her up. Um, I've done upstairs, over the door upstairs, bleach the bathroom, bleach the kitchen. Uh, I've scrubbed the um, floor. I've just got it over. Take some more washing out. If that's dry out there, I'll bleach dry, but it should be dry for now. It's since half nine. Uh, get some more washing out. <clears throat> over up. I mean, ladies, I suffer, I suffer from dry rot anyway, but when I had them for gabbling, it was making it worse. I've had to stop taking them, too, much, too many side effects. But a lot of my friends um, who's got prescribed progabalin who suffer from um, fibromyalgia. God, I've said it wrong. Um, they got prescribed progabalin and got took off cocoa with them all. Um, and they they're doing pretty well with it so far, but no, it won't, it won't for me. That for gabbling. <clears throat> oh yeah, I've come off that. I'm just back to my cocoa all the morning, and plenty of um Voltaron. Well, that seems to help me for a little bit. That Voltaron. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick to what I stuck with. Stack. Stick to what I had previously, and no. Probably no, not for me. I've got another chest x ray book next week. <clears throat> so hopefully the lesions have stayed away from my uh, lungs. Well, I think they have. I've had no issues, touch wood. Um, apart from the one, do you remember? Oh, my leg. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, when I had my leg cut, I that I ended up having that cut. I had joking ladies. Four times I had I had I've had my leg opened up again. Four times. But um it screwed back the legion I was on my leg. Legion. Lesion. The lesions grew back on my leg, so I might have to have it cut off again. But where 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 I've had the the first one cut off and I've got a big scar, the lesions growing right at the top of the scar. So I don't know how they're gonna do that, but I'll find that out when the when the cutting off. But yeah, I've got a bit cut off. <sighs> so 
So, I'm being the right moody care this morning, honey, do you know what I mean? But I just wanted to fill you in. And, uh, back to uh, Jolly Jolly. But I can't wait to start going over and wrapping, because I, I do like that. But uh, I, I can't start my Christmas shopping until I've finished these birthdays. And then I'm going to start my Christmas shopping, and then I'll come on here and wrap. Rap, rap. I've got a dentist tomorrow. Because I had a couple of, I don't, um, one of the two fears cracked and it came out the other day. So we're going to put me a, uh, well, I've already had it measured. I've got to have a cap or whatever you call it. I don't forgot what they said. And that. Being fitted tomorrow, I think. I hope. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be on soon. I know I keep saying that, but I can't come on until I've got presents to wrap. Do you know what I mean, ladies? And I can't start with food, with food shopping, Christmas shopping until I've got rid of these birthdays. Because I've had five birthdays in September. Oh. Oh. And I'll let you all know what the doctor says Friday regarding this menopause. Huh? But I'm sure it's it. I'm sure it is. Because my mum said I did. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. Bye.